Okay, folks, as you might know, last night the BMW M3 and M4 Coupe have been uh, revealed in pictures. And uh, I didn't say anything about it last night because I wanted to wait and get some video footage, as this is a video channel. So here's the videos for you. I'm not going to say too much over the top of this because there's actually quite a bit of noise and music. Or not music, but there's lots of noise coming from those engines you might want to hear. But just having a quick glance through the press release here. Um... It is worth a few mentions here as it is. They're talking about the BMW M philosophy being carried over to the M3 and for more than 40,000 examples of the fourth generation M3 Coupe were built. And now the M4 Coupe is poised to continue the success story. Wow. Um, the M4 badge is a reference to the model series provides the basement numbers as an M3 Coupe. Uh, don't know, I'm sorry. I know BMW won't have for that one, but you know, it is. Um, Four generations of the BMW M3 have blended motorsport genre and uncompromised everyday usability within an emotionally rich overall concept, explains Dr. Friedrich Nietzsche. I can't pronounce that. Uh, he's the president of BMW, anyway. Um, there are some small details in it as well. The engine is the heart of every M model, and a new turbocharged, turbocharged six-cylinder unit fitted to the two new cars combines the virtues of a high revving, naturally aspirated unit with the strengths of a turbocharger technology. A committed lightweight design concept produces a weight saving of around 80 kilograms over the outgoing M3. The BMW M3 and M4 take motorsport technology from the track to the road, and thousands of laps of legendary Nürburgring, uh, the world's most exacting racetrack. Exacting. Hmm, what is that? Exciting. Uh, I would have. Mm, I should have written this press release. Um, I've read his new models for that transition. Meticulous and passion fueled development work has underpinned the creation of two performance sports cars that set new standards in terms of overall concept, precision, and agility. And I read again, I read from the BMW press release that came out uh, yesterday, I think. Um, it looks exciting. Uh, the M4 actually looks more exciting than the M3, strangely. I really like the look of that. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now and just let you watch the rest of the video with all the noises and all the bits that are happening in the background. Until I have a new video out very shortly, I shall see you on Farside.
Thank <laughs> you.